Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is for the week of April 24th through the 30th. And yes, my friend, the weeklies are back and I'm excited to bring them back. Your May monthly reading is coming up next, so make sure that you are subscribed with notifications turned on so you know when I go live, you know when I upload readings. The weeklies are probably going to be going live or uploaded Wednesdays, Thursdays, so make sure you check back on my channel at that time. So let's see what we have for the week ahead energy for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a new deck. This is the Light Sears Tarot. Beautiful deck. I'm really happy that I finally got it. <clears throat> I've been wanting this deck for a while. So you have the world card here as your uh, major arcana energy, overall energy for the week ahead. Beautiful card. Absolutely love it. The supporting cards around it is the Five of Wands, Ten of Wands, Seven of Cups, another seven with the Seven of Pentacles, but you also have the Ace of Cups. And so what I feel here, if you've been going through some difficult moments in your life, if you feel like maybe there's been some doom and gloom and difficult decisions, difficult chapters in your life that have brought on a lot of internal conflict and turmoil and perhaps maybe not getting along with others. I feel like you've walked away from the stressors. You've walked away from the conflict. I feel like if there has been an environment where people were not getting along or there's been an environment, um, you know, perhaps a relationship, group of people, uh, your family, your friends, your employer, people not getting along and it was really stressing you out and it left you in this air of confusion and wondering, is it worth me sticking around? or is it time for me to walk away and leave and I feel like you're ready for your next chapter and the majority of you have decided to leave to walk away and pursue what makes you happy and the world card with the ace of cups is acknowledging just that this is a beautiful new beginning for you a beautiful brand new chapter in your life this could be complete and total renewal right this is finally healed from an old relationship uh, ex expanding your horizons when it comes to your job your place of employment your friendships your your circle of of friends, a family of supporters. Ace of Cups is a new chapter in love, but also a new era, era of your life that brings a sense of uh, compassionate, unconditional, loving, nurturing, supportive energy that I feel that you've been lacking for quite some time. And for some of you, it just feels like it's just been a long time coming because like I said, the Five of Wands and the Ten of Wands here, you know, heavy burdens that have been carried for a very long time. I feel like you've been in this really long and difficult journey that has brought on a lot of conflict or you've been in conflict for someone for a, a very long time. And, and it's caused a lot of conflict and confusion, but also a sense of disillusionment when it comes to whatever this was, when it comes to your career, your employer, your relationship, your partnership, your friendship, your family, or just overall, you know, a perspective towards your future. But Seven of Cups, um, along with the Seven of Pentacles here, you know, it, it's like trying to clear through the clutter, trying to figure out uh, with a sense of clarity, but still in this feeling of confusion, like, is it worth me walking away after all this time, after all this work, all this energy, everything that I've given to this person, place, thing, situation, business, you name it. Some of you have had some difficult journeys that at one point or another, you said, I'm not giving up. I'm not walking away. I'm going to see this through. But at what cost, Gemini? At what cost? And I feel like many of you have already walked away from this and you're like to hell with trying to save this, to hell with trying to salvage anything from here. It's time that I save myself. It's time that I heal myself. It's time that I make a brand new life for myself. Because at the end of the day, 
this is you, my friend, the seven of pentacles, it's down here in the roots where you're finally at that energy of stay grounded so that you can feel a sense of growth, a sense of, I feel like there's this yearning for growth and it finally, be, it finally comes in for you. This is, you know, feeling like you're finally in alignment with love, with true love, with, um, I, I'm hearing love of your own life, love Loving your situation, your happiness, your joy, your children, your career, whatever it is that you have felt a bit of dissatisfaction in in the past. I feel like now there is this air where you're ready to only pursue what makes you happy. You're only giving to what makes you feel happy and fulfilled. And so what is the outcome of coming out of this energy and moving towards love? What's next for Gemini? Because I feel like you've got big things coming your way. Beautiful. Six of wands. I, literally the card of victory and success. And when I say you've got big things coming your way, that card is all eyes on you. You've got goals to me. You feel like it's another successful chapter in your life. It, it could be if you've got a business, you meet sales goals like beyond what you've ever thought of, right? Uh, if this isn't a career, it's actually the most money you've ever made. It's um, you know, in a relationship, it's finally the, the type of person that you've been waiting for to come into your life. Yes, new, literally, what did I just say? Go back a few seconds, <laughs> go back a minute or two, where I said, I feel like a big new chapter coming for you, big things, big changes. The full card is saying, just do it, Gemini. Take that leap of faith, Queen of Swords. You've been contemplating, you've been thinking about it. Should I leave? Should I stay? Should I go? Queen of Swords. Uh, that's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But because I normally read her as Aquarius, but because this is a Gemini reading, that could be you or another air sign that you are confiding in that's helping you navigate through this thought process and helping you clear the fog after being left in confusion for quite some time. I feel like when you follow your heart, you know, your, your spirit guides, guardian angels will light the path for you. And that path is leading to success. Uh, I definitely feel like it's time for you to really get close to what your heart is saying. And as I say that, the Six of Cups and the Hermit card is being highlighted here when I said that. When I said it's time for you to really tap into you, your heart, your own inner being, your own inner source. The Hermit card really is about going within and, and pulling the answers from within you, your own higher source, higher self energy, the wisdom that you came onto this earth with or perhaps from past experiences. And it's time for you to be loyal to you. And as I say that, because of the dogs here, my neighbor's dog starts barking. So... <laughs> Loyal puppy dog energy is here. So uh, this is a commitment that becomes loyal. This is a commitment in love, a commitment to a job, a commitment to a lifestyle, or just a commitment to yourself for overall joy, happiness, and fulfillment. I really love this energy for you. I do feel that you've got big, a big, beautiful chapter, big changes coming in for you. The world, I mean... That's not a that's not like something small to look at. That's a big deal. That's graduating. That's you know taking your life to the next level. You know, going from your first home to your forever home, right? Going from your foot in the door to, you know, CEO vibes. That type of thing. Look at that. Broken wishbone. Wish will not be granted. There was something that you were still trying to hold on to that the universe has been nudging you to let it go and leave and walk away from it and you continue to go back you continue to try to make it work and I feel like it's not so much for the right reasons either it just feels as though uh, like I said in the beginning it's like I've put in a lot of time energy effort I might as well stick it out but do you want to be with someone who says I might as well stick it out would they want to be with someone who says that about their relationship of course not you want to know that if you're going to be all in, so are they and vice versa. And if you're not feeling like you are ready to be all in in a connection and a relationship and a business with someone, then they're not the one. Cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life. I'm telling you, two cards flew out. The card of cat, a two-faced friend. 
and the card of flag. Don't be tempted to lower your standards. So there could be some um, situation here where you find out the truth about a two-faced friend. Uh, you kind of want to go at it with them. You're really unhappy about the fact that there was some realizations about this friend or someone that you're close to. And you, I just feel like there is this need to really lash out at them and um, really give them a taste of their own medicine. But Spirit is saying, don't be tempted to lower your standards. If what you've been wanting is to really work things out with someone, friend, family member, partnership that you keep going back and forth with. I feel like if you think, oh, this is the one I'm going to marry because of convenience, um, and maybe you've been going back and forth with this person and you just kind of settle, the universe is saying, like, is love about settling or is love about honoring yourself and honoring your heart and, you know, what really feels right and good for you, right? Nobody wants to be with someone who's just settling for them and vice versa. So get, keep that in mind I feel like someone here is like almost even running like chasing after a specific timeline a time clock here uh, like, oh, look at me, I'm X amount old and, um, you know, I should be married already and how embarrassing that I'm not married yet. I feel like someone is really concerned about what other people think. But, you know, you guys that have been with me for a long time, if you know me, you know me, I do not give a rat's behind on what other people think, okay? And you should not live your life uh, dependent on other people's perspectives or viewpoints or opinions, small-minded opinions, right? So just be careful with a two-faced friend. I feel like some of you are going to find out the harsh truth about someone. Um, and so if you've lost a lot of people that you called your friends, um, that may be a pattern that you may want to look into. Is it a pattern of people that you're calling to you? Is it a pattern with you? Is it a pattern with them? Uh, what is it about you that resonates with that? And look at that, the card of broken bridge, as I was saying that, and it says it's an unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Some of you are not really facing what the situation really is about. You're bypassing it and you're uh, making it about other people and it's about them and not me and, you know, it's their loss. But then you're not really acknowledging exactly, um, you know, why you keep coming to the same crossroads with the same type of people. Okay, so you have the card of dog barking, advice from a friend and gavel, involvement with the law. Okay, I feel like for some of you, this could be surrounding uh, child support, alimony, maybe not getting it on time, uh, maybe establishing a case because someone hasn't been willfully paying it on their own. And so you want to establish something that's more concrete that you can count on and depend on. I'm definitely seeing that. Okay. And if you do that, I do feel that that is going to be in your favor. Um, so see, as I said that, the card of needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted. So definitely feel like if that is something you're pursuing, um, then it's it, your wish will be granted. Whatever amount you ask for or arrangement you ask for, I do feel it will be granted. For some of you, it could actually be um, not necessarily child support, but visitation and, you know, those rights as well. Uh, I feel like some of you have been fearful of going to court for that, but I do feel that you're going to um, establish some sort of sense of stability that, well, you, you, they've given you no other choice but to pursue it that way, okay? I do feel like a positive ending with that, so that's good. Just be careful of people that cannot be trusted at this time. Uh, it's time to walk away from the people that are just no good for you, people, places, things, situations. You've got so much abundance, so much love, something much better. Like I said, a big, huge chapter that awaits you once you leave behind the darkness, the negativity, and the unhealthy connections, toxic people. They're just not meant to go with you forward, okay? So that is your reading for the week ahead, my Gemini friends. Absolutely love and adore all of your support. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, you know, your likes, your shares, your comments, um, your subscribes, all of that, your donations, you guys are what keep this channel going. And I love and appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. So take care. Bye.